Hi everybody! One of the important things that you're going to need to know for the 4-H entomology contest are the types of mouth parts that insects have. And so um, I would understand that there are five separate types of mouth parts that an insect can have. Chewing is one. Chewing is where they're going to eat plant tissue or maybe they're a predator and they're going to eat another insect. Piercing and sucking would be kind of like when you drink from a Capri Sun. The straw is the piercing mouth part. You stab it into the Capri Sun and you suck the juice out. So piercing and sucking would be uh, maybe an insect that's piercing into plant tissue to take the juices out of the plant or it could be something like an assassin bug where it's um, piercing and stabbing into another insect and drinking the insides out. Um, siphoning mouth parts are what you would have for butterflies and moths where they don't um, pierce anything but they do suck up nectar. Lapping mouth parts don't do any sucking necessarily, but they're lapping up liquid, and these would be honeybees. And then sponging mouth parts, I'll show you in a little bit, are on things like houseflies, where they don't have any mouth parts except for a sponge that picks up liquid food. So while there's five separate types of mouth parts that insects can have, I would also understand that if it's a chewing mouth part, we consider it mandibulate. Mandibles um, are what you have to chew with. They're part of your, your mandible is part of your jaw. So mandibulate means to chew. And then hostilate is everything else. Piercing, sucking, siphoning, lapping, and sponging. Hostilate uh, mouth parts would be those that maybe eat, eat food that's liquid instead of solid food. So this is a grasshopper. He has this little thing on top of his, kind of looks like a, an upper lip. And then underneath he has, well, what you can't see is like an, a lower lip. He's got these mandibles, those black things that you see coming in and out. So an insect chews side to side instead of up and down like we do. And then they have those little kind of finger-like projections that kind of help them taste sensory type appendages as part of the mouth parts. So an insect with chewing mouth parts is going to eat solid food, right? It's going to eat plant tissue. It's going to eat another insect. It's going to chew on stuff. If you're a chewing ins if you're an insect with chewing mouth parts, Silverfish, and I would get used to knowing the order names for all of these things. Silverfish, which are Thysanura. Mayflies, which are Ephemeroptera. That's one that I think only intermediates and seniors need to know. Dragon and damselflies are the Odonatas. Stoneflies, or Plecoptera. Grasshoppers, which is Orthoptera, and also crickets and katydids in the same group. Walking sticks have chewing mouth parts. That's phasmatidia, phasmatidia, phasmatodia, um, a couple different ways to pronounce it. Earwigs, which are dermaptera, have chewing mouth parts. So do mantids, mantodia, and then the cockroaches and termites group also does. There's a few more though to remember. Bark lice and the chicken head louse. Those are of course things that are needed to know not by juniors. Bark lice are in Socoptera, chicken head louse is in the Theroptera. The Dobson flies, lace wings, owl flies, and ant lions are in the group Neuroptera. And then scorpion flies, Mecoptera, also chew. All of the beetles have chewing mouth parts as adults. Caddis flies, or Trichoptera, and then wasps, ants, and sawflies, Hymenoptera. Some insects have the piercing and sucking mouth parts. So this is a an image of a stink bug, and this stink bug has piercing sucking mouth parts. If you remember all of the mouth parts that you saw on that grasshopper, think back to what those were and what they look like. And all of these are the same pieces of those mouth parts, the same components. They're just modified to pierce into plant tissue and suck the juices out of the plant. So instead of having that upper lip and lower lip, we saw the upper lip on the grasshopper, but the lower lip was kind of hidden. Instead of seeing that, they have kind of like a sheath that surrounds the tooth. And so instead of those two black mouth parts that move, this guy just has one little tiny tube, this black piece that they're pulling out with the, using a little pin to pull it out. And then the, those kind of lips surround it to protect it. There you can see the little stylets at the end of it. So that's all that pierces the plant tissue. They don't chew big holes in the plant. Instead, they um, suck all the juices out of it. If you are an insect that has piercing and sucking mouth parts, also called hostilate, 
all of the lice except for that chicken head louse, which are Theroptera, all of the true bugs, every single true bug in Hemiptera, those have the piercing sucking mouth parts, cicadas, hoppers, aphids, white flies, scales, mealybugs, also in Hemiptera have piercing sucking mouth parts, fleas, siphonoptera have piercing sucking mouth parts, and then in the fly group, diptera, mosquitoes have piercing and sucking mouth parts, but of course they're piercing skin and sucking out blood. Now, things like um, skippers or butterflies and moths have these siphoning mouth parts, so and they kind of keep it rolled up underneath their chin to protect themselves, so to protect those mouth parts. You can see it kind of moving there. It looks like a little wheel or a little circle underneath its um, nose kind of area. And in a second, He's going to pull that mouth part out and see how it rolls back in there. So it's really, really long and it will unravel to go deep into a, a, a flower so that it can drink up the nectar. Same parts, just modified a little bit differently to go after, to drink nectar instead of piercing any plant tissue. So this isn't piercing sucking, it's siphoning, but also considered hostilate. Here you can see a monarch butterfly with its little mouth part out, kind of moving back and forth on that. I think this is a milkweed plant, drinking the nectar out of there. So siphoning mouth parts, also considered hostilate, are uh, moths and butterflies, which are in the Lepidoptera group. Other insects have lapping mouth parts. Only honeybees have lapping mouth parts, and basically it's really similar to a butterfly's mouth part, but instead of um, being long and skinny and rolling up underneath the chin, it's, it's, they're much shorter. And so you could say that butterflies can handle flowers that might be really, really deep, but, but, but a bee would prefer a flower that's maybe a little bit more open so it can get to that nectar. So Hymenoptera, the honeybees, have lapping mouth parts. And then a really odd type of mouth part are sponging mouth parts. And so imagine that you don't have teeth anymore. You have a sponge that's replaced your lips, a sponge that's stuck to you. So these guys have to consume only liquid food also, but it's a sponge that sponges up the food. And so they have hostilate mouth parts also. And this is our housefly diptera. So to recap, the five types of mouth parts to know are chewing, the five main types of mouth parts, chewing, piercing, sucking, siphoning, lapping, and sponging. And they're either mandibulate or they're hostilate. Only chewing is mandibulate. If you look, there's a lot of insects that have chewing mouth parts. So if, if you know, a good guess, if you have absolutely no idea, is chewing might be, a, might be an option. Piercing and sucking, a big gigantic group, the, all the hemipterans have piercing and sucking mouth parts, so I'd remember that. If, if you think about the insect, and if, it's th if you think it feeds on plants, or if it sucks blood, it's got to have piercing and sucking mouth parts. Siphoning is only the moths and the butterflies and sponging is the housefly diptera.